Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan here with another Plan With Me video in my mini happy planner. So there you see my spread for Monday, September 3rd through to Sunday, September 9th, where I just used freebies from Green Darner Designs. I actually love how much white space there is in this spread and how still functional it is. So for this week, I'll just take the pages out of the mini happy planner and move the planner to the side, place this on the counter. And for this week, I will be using some leftovers from a kit that I used from GP Sticker Studio. So these are some pieces from her Dream Big Kit. As you can see, I only have a couple of the full boxes left and some of the deco and the date covers. So what I'm really trying to do now is go through my sticker stash and use what I have. I found myself I went through a whole stage where I was buying kits almost every week and I had enough kits to last me until next year and I knew that my style would change and things like that so I decided I'm going to use what I have and not buy anything for the foreseeable future. I'm still going to buy kits from the shops that I PR for but for now I, I just want to really simplify my stash and this is why I'm going through and showing you how you can use leftovers in your spreads. Alright so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just spread these boxes around. I'm going to actually place this one down here in the bottom corner and I love her stickers. They're um, a glossy, I think, I think it's a glossy, but they're such thick paper and I love that the sticker paper is like when you peel it off, it's done. I love that. Maybe place this on Friday. Yeah. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I am the type of person who I'm, I'm quite frugal. I'll have to say I like to use kits. Yeah, there's something so joyful about seeing an empty stick sheet. Anyway, I, I like to use kits in more than one spread. One these some of these kits can run up to I mean they can get quite expensive so the last thing you want is to be spending you know 20 bucks on, or, or more than that on one spread you want to be able to distribute that evenly so I try to make kits last for as long as I can and there was green in here wasn't there if there's not green I'm using silver There's green there at the front. So I try to use a mix of different kits and try to make them all work in different types of spreads. So what I'm gonna do over here is put a long box. It's just a matter of which green will work. If that doesn't work, then I can pull in stickers from a different planner. Ooh, or silver. Silver is good in any spread. Yes, so using these silver boxes from the Happy Planner, I'm just going to place that down the middle. And now in terms of my social media filming schedule, I try to film these about a week and a half before they actually go out because it gives me the extra time to be able to edit without having to worry, oh my gosh, it's Saturday and I have to get this video out by Sunday. It's just, it would stress me out too much. So it's nice having the extra time to film these a bit in advance so that I can actually focus on life. And now I'm going to be mixing, mixing metals, oh my God. I know, for some of you it's gonna be crazy. Do I want that there? Plan. Just put it down. Okay. And then, so that'll be my filming schedule. And then I will do some other little things to make note of when I'm uploading videos. So I've pulled a few of my stickers here just to try and get through my stash. But if that isn't going to work, then, oh, you know what? Why don't we use her? She's adorable. This is from Miss Moss. I bought this last year and I haven't used them and I just think they're so cute. So what I'm gonna do down here at the bottom is create a little, I guess, montage. I won't even call it montage, but a little collection of stickers so that 
I have more decoration down here as well. And I don't mind covering up the date because I know it's Thursday. Ah. There, the thing with some of this deco though is that it, I'm, I'm almost scared to use it because it can be, they can be finicky if you don't take them off the paper properly. Nope, we'll leave that. Uh, and then I'll put that somewhere else. So then I'll put another box down here and this time I will make that one green because I don't need a huge box in that corner. I need maybe about this size. Yeah, perfect. Then I'll use a silver label this time or a silver quarter box. I'm in love with this colorful stickers book. One of my favorites. Here we go. Then I'll put another probably bigger full box down there and I'll, I don't know if I have a good big green one for that corner because I want the green to match that. So I might have to use another silver, but it won't be a big massive one. It'll just be one of the square ones here. And then, sorry for all the shadows. I know this is terrible, terrible lighting, so I apologize. Uh, and then I'll put another green quarter box over that. And then I think I've used all of those greens. So, let's put that right there. Cute. I love being able to experiment with different types of planners and different types of spreads just because it it sparks the creativity if you can use the same kit in different ways. For me, it's it's a way that I can expand expand I feel like I'm getting into like a <laughs> expand your horizons. No, but honestly, it's 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 a way of building on your creativity if you can use different stickers in ways that you weren't ooh yes coffee monday but then now it just looks like a boob anyway it does look like a boob i don't know if i really want that there but we'll keep it um there is something about being able to use stickers in different ways and this is what i'm always trying to say in my videos is that don't ever feel like you are limited to the type of kit it is. For me, I use Erin Condren kits in any of my planners and I think it's just, I almost feel like she's out of place now. And I don't wanna peel her up because it will, it'll be a waste of a sticker. So let's place this one here. And there, I've used all the deco and now I have date covers. And what I'm gonna do actually with this sheet is just cut off the excess of it so that I can place this in my date cover section of my sticker collection. And then I will have date covers. And sometimes actually, this is why I buy certain pieces of a kit because I can use them in other areas and look, something so satisfying about finishing stickers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next then is just put in some, I guess, icons for when I'm putting videos out. So I accidentally, I don't know what I did, maybe press the button for uh, recording and then forgot to turn it off or something. I messed up the recording somewhere, but you guys missed me putting down the uh, heart icons and they're just from the uh, one, two, three, four, it's your day sticker book from me and my big ideas. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and have a great day.